Bon Bon Yao really is just the perfect picnic sandwich. I mean, first of all, it thrives on sitting around. The longer you let it sit, the better it gets. And it's also a little bit more sophisticated than the normal picnic fare, while still being, you know, a sandwich. In France, when they make these sandwiches, they use these little round loaves about this big, or sometimes they use big ones, but they're always round. But I had a hard time finding a flat round loaf, so instead I just I'm gonna substitute a ciabatta. I'm going to bathe the bread with olive oil, and that's where pan banya gets its name. It means bathed bread. And the idea is that the olive oil soaks into the crumb and flavors it, and also makes it really soft and really nice to eat. Break out your better olive oil for this, because you really f taste the flavor of the oil in the sandwich. Traditionally, a pan manyat is kind of like a catch-all for whatever people can have around. The point is, that everything should go together nicely. So think about how the ingredients are gonna taste when you bite into them in one bite. That's what you're going for, is a balance. You can really fudge the amounts when you're doing a pan banyat, or, or any sandwich. Just kind of go with how it feels. Considering that my child is gonna sit on this later, I can make it really tall, too, because it's gonna compress. I hope she's gonna sit on it. So far, she said maybe. If she doesn't sit on it, I'll sit on it. So tuna's good, that looks right to me. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of white wine vinegar on the tuna. I think tuna always needs a little acid to set off the richness. And then let's see, onion. The sweeter your onion, the more you can use. I'm gonna use a ton of anchovies. I love anchovies. There we go. Pitted black olives that I've sliced. Can use any kind. Capers. I think you need a lot of salt at a picnic because it makes it easier to drink a lot of punch. Red pepper, this is just mostly for crunch. I mean, it does add some flavor, but texture is really its main purpose. Ooh, fennel would be really good. If you don't want to use red pepper, all you red pepper haters, fennel. And then some nice ripe tomato. And finally, basil. Now, if I tried to just cut into the sandwich right now, it would just fall apart. All of the elements would just you know, fly right out of the sandwich. But by compressing it, not only is it gonna fit in my mouth better, it's gonna adhere to itself better. It's gonna be a neater package. Anybody who's escaped, I have found you. I'm putting you back in the sandwich. Now I'm gonna wrap it up really tightly, first in plastic and then in foil. Then I'm just gonna wrap it in a dish towel just as a final layer of protection against any leaking oil. All right, where's my kid? Time to sit on the sandwich. <laughs> Board, topped with the heaviest books in your house.